What's up, for your electronic search here? Back with another Dear Satellite testing video. This is part uh, six. Wait, no, 16 actually. I think maybe 17. Uh, no, I think 16. I'm not, I don't remember. We're back here again during the day now. It's about 12 to 1 p.m. Yeah, we know. I don't know what time it is. I think it's 1 p.m. So, I've I've let I've left the duo plugged in ever since last episode. So it's just been plugged in to the wall with the sack connected. And I turned on the TV today and decided to play around see what changed if anything did so i let it do the switch test again and then acquire signal and it did actually acquire signal but the same thing happened where this lnb right here is for 119 instead of 110 again So, I've got some suggestions from Patty K that the, uh, or not some suggestions, but what the problems might be. And uh, the problems might be that the dish is about nine degrees off in the west. So, down where the actual thing in, in space is the the actual satellite thing. I have my usual wrenches out here, but to tighten up the the, the bolts permanently, most likely, except the skew ones, but like the elevation and the azimuth, I'm mostly gonna bring out the drill and do it really tight, just like I did on this slim line where it's not going anywhere, or except for the top bolts, since that one's stripped. But yeah. That thing is still aimed, it, it literally has not moved ever since. But again, for, for this thing, before I do the, the 9 degrees thing, I want to make sure that pole is level before I continue on with anything else, because that might be the problem, but I'm not sure if it is. I was getting about 64 from the LNB on 119, and you might notice I don't have my stuff out here. And I don't need my stuff out here just yet, because again, I'm just taking down the pole, I mean the dish, and just uh, leveling the pole, and then I'll put the dish back up, and then I'll bring the receivers out here and then try again, I'll do the 211K. So the duo is unplugged, not only from the wall, but from the actual sat port as well. And this thing is loose on there, so you can just pull this up, actually wait those nuts are tight yeah so it's colder than before but not really well no actually i think i might need gloves again I'm trying to get that one loose on the very bottom the other two are already good let me just do it with the wrench if it'll let me spin from the other side yeah it's spinning from the other side oh there I just felt I had to hold it in there they're all loose so ground 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 is gonna have to come off I made the thing too short just loosen this bolt it would be wonderful if I actually had like a proper grounding location and not just securing it to a random bolt now I know I could do it on the mount but I don't have any screws that will fit that mount 
Oh, great. Man, I broke my piece of copper off. Amazing. It's time to get a new coax cable out here. I just leave that on before. Okay, so I might as well just go and pull this out of the meter box later on. That was a wonderful failure. I should do the same where I leave extra. You, you can see that little loop right there from the film line grounding and that little loop is just extra wire i'm gonna do the same for the dish because i made mine too short you can see how short it is that's literally everything and i wasn't expecting it to be that short but i made it too short accidentally again also i know the old cable had nothing wrong with it but i'm, I'm just not gonna bother switching it out right now my main focus is just to get the thing level and obviously get signal. Hold on, let me get this other phone out so that way I can actually bend my knee properly. And that's gonna be for the actual leveling. Actually, no, I'll just bring an actual level out here instead of relying on a phone. Because I have one of them. Water? Where'd that water come out of? I, I just have to make sure it's not coming out of the LNB. Uh, uh, what is that? Come on, rotate them. Is that okay? If it came out of that coax port that might be okay because it's it's slanted in that direction which is which all the water just drips down here that's why this area is so dirty because the water just stays in here because it can't drip down because this is not straight so it just sits in there until it evaporates or someone physically removes it like blowing air at it or something like that I love these old dishes where everything is stuck together again. I'm pretty sure if it would have been the slim line, it would have just came right off. But on here, because this has been stuck on this pole for like 10 years, this thing is so old. I mean, this thing squeaks when you try to peek it. Oh, it fell. So, I mean, that's clear that it needs... See, it always falls like that, but it, it looks level. Like, see how it falls? Like, now it doesn't do it. But before, like, it, it just falls, but it's still level. What's that cat doing? Okay, here's all my cables. Just make sure that doesn't get stuck underneath there. So that way. Like, 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 how does this happen, bro? That's gotta be some kind of rat. I go get all that. Why is he having a hard time focusing? Bro, it's right there. It's the cable, not the fan behind it. How does he not see the cable? I swear, the, the, the focus thing on here is stupid. It focuses and then it just goes away. There, you can see the damage. I don't know what the heck can cause that to happen. There's clearly a hole in there. You can see the metal shielding. That's got to go. That's not rain tight no more. If you can see the, the iron or metal shielding or whatever that's inside of those coax cables, this ain't good no more. I I, I don't know. 
god, bro. Should I just put back the original, or should I just get a whole new... You know what, I'll just put the original back. I can't trust these ones from the pile. The only reason where these should be used is... Uh, what's it called? Indoors from the to wall, wall to receiver. Because those cables have already been outside for 20 plus years. And they can't just go out here for another 10 years. They're already fragile. I can't even get this thing off. I just have to get that crown, ground cable out. Okay, let me just put the camera down. Oh my god. I forgot to stop the camera and then start recording again. Because I forgot that AF lock or whatever it's called. Doesn't go away until you stop the video. So if you accidentally tap the screen, you have to end, end the whole thing. So let me get the dish thing off the pole with... Uh, what's it called? Put the camera down. Alright. There we go. So don't land it on the cables, I think, but it should be okay. I just take this thing home real quick and just I don't know fix up those stupid cables and then and then just try to level this thing because it's getting too cold out here to do this nonsense every single time I mean sometimes okay give me my phone and open the or should I just bring out the actual level yeah let me just do that but first let me get these off from underneath the thing Oh, well, no, no, the reason why they, why they come up from underneath the pole, I mean, L and B aren't because they're tied up right there, see that thing, but then that one's broken. Okay, so I need a new cable, so I'll just bring the old one back out, the OG one, assumingly, because who knows who aimed this at, and who knows if Dish had to come out to service this thing at some point. Again, wherever it was installed, whoever was using it, some kind of DP system or legacy receiver. No, probably not that, because that would be too way too old. I think it was used with a VIP system at some point, because the DP34, no 129 LMB, which already gives you a hint, it wasn't used with a hopper system, because hoppers require, require 129, because my neighbor said those used with that hopper 2000 again, that was sent to uh 3.0 does have the 129 lb but it's a thousand plus so it has that newer western arc looking type of lnb but it's not western arc that one's it has like an lnb import on it which is where that 129 lnb connects to i'll try to show a picture right here of it and maybe the lnb assembly but it's the exact same set that was used with the hopper 2000 again so let me go get a proper level out here also i know this is completely off topic but over here there's some space made on the side of the basement and this is most likely where i'm gonna hold some of my dishes too i'm planning to turn this into a new room like there's a box right here tv box separating the wall to garage or whatever you want to call it and the globe cast dish is most likely gonna go over here and here's the direct tv world direct set and then the, the phase dish is inside of the wall. Okay, right here in this pile of nothing but tools and random stuff should be that level. I know there's a bigger one, but I remember there's a smaller one here too. I don't know where it is. It's most likely going to be up here somewhere. I know it exists. I've seen it multiple times. Because none of this stuff is organized. Like, literally anything could get lost wherever you put it in here. There's batteries. There's these construction pencils. There's random stuff down here. This is broken. And then this is rusty or crusty. See, it just gets stuck in there. It's no good. If I find one of those like bubble things from some random thing 
then I'll bring it out here now. I'll attach it to the dish set. I may permanently mount it on, mount it on there. But this is all I could find. So let's put this thing on top of here. And I think this is actually like a digital level type of thing. Yeah, it probably doesn't work no more. Because that's where the laser would be, but again, it's broken. Okay. See, that should be perfectly in there, in the bubble. Oh, that's for, that's for vertical, I think, right? Yeah, the bubble is completely off. And here's the inside of the pole. I never get to show you this. It's the exact same thing that's up on my roof that, that was left behind from the last owners. So let me remove this brick and put that aside. Now, I don't know how this wind thing's supposed to exactly work like this. My best guess would just be mounting it to a piece of wood like that on the floor. I don't know. So let me pull this thing out. Okay, so let me do some eye. Just eyeballing this thing. So I don't think this thing is straight, if I remember correctly. So if it's straight from there... No, it looks good. Oh yeah, this is originally how the thing was mounted as well on whatever. It was just like this, it wasn't on a roof. It was on a beam, I think. Yeah. See how scratched up it got. So let me put it back in there. Remove him. You can see the indent a little bit better from where the pole sits. You can see how my finger goes down into it a little bit. And you can see it from a specific angle. I don't know, but it's right here. It's like rough. I don't know. That's where, that's where the pole thing sits. So, mount this thing not level, because it's just gonna take too much time. Which is why I want it to be level. Maybe if I put it on the other side of the mount, maybe it'll work, but... I don't know, I think it's good like this. But it has to be in there really good. Like that's too far off, and this, this thing gets in the way too much. Like it's super annoying. See, like, it just jammed itself there. Try to level it now. No, that's still not level. Huh. Okay, put that thing back. Maybe if I try and get it like sideways, like how it used to be. Like, not like that, but. Make sure it's not that wind support thing affecting it. Okay. Let's see, what about now? Okay, so that's what it looks like bouncing around from in between. And what about like this? Yeah, it's still way off. See, I need a shorter one that can actually fit the thing and not a really huge one. I don't know, is it good enough? I could have sworn that's the same thing where I did on the front. I mean, that should be good enough up on the top, but I'm not sure about the side. Okay, so I got the phone. It's like, this thing says zero on both sides, actually. Huh? Okay, what about right here? Yeah, it says it's perfectly level. I don't know. My hands are starting to freeze, though. I still need to secure this thing using coax cables. You know what? Let me just go dig out a couple real quick. Let me just dig out. 
random cables. Uh, there's my old stand, just extremely dirty now. What, what are these ones that I put back here at some point? Yeah, I'll just use this then for grounding. Because I still have these white cables which I could use for the support beam type of thing. But I don't know. Because it, it would identify all of them from each other. Like which one's actual grounding and the actual like satellite cable like the L and B to the switch because like if I choose black for the same color for the just support type of thing then it's not the exact same exact same what's it called thing for the stupid like it's gonna be hard to identify them and at this point I don't really care about the stupid support being for the wind right here even though it is kind of important it's just that this brick thing moves around too much and i don't know how to make it stop like there's like a small little grit right here you see it maybe shoving it in the way like maybe in the very end of here you pick this thing up then then how okay what about this piece of copper that fell off the old ground cable would that work hey, i need one more on this side yeah, but it's it's the actual like thing is on here i mean on this side Oh wow, that put an end to it. Nothing. Okay, that was perfect then. Wow. Alright. Let's make sure my pull didn't get affected by it. Actually, first, I mean. Okay, yes, it's tight in there. The same usual level. I guess it's not completely level, but it is in the green, so it is acceptable. Okay, let me get this thing up here. Get that against it. Alright, let's get the dish installed. Or should I swap out the cable first? Yeah, like that's not going anywhere no more. Like, it's not even shaking, so that's going to be really good. <sighs> yeah, let me just go swap out the wire right now. It's going to be easier to do it instead of that prevent accidentally just knocking that thing over, and then the whole thing just falls. And then you have to take down the sat again, re-aim, I mean, re-level the pole, put the thing back up. So yeah, just do it on the floor. So let me go get the OG cable back. For a couple of days underneath air conditioning and proper heating, this thing is, is, is extremely flexible. I mean, I'm used to these cables being so stiff where you can barely move them, but because this thing has been in a proper environment, it's not super stiff like this. Like you can see, like this barely moves while this just flexes entirely, like no problem. Like look at all that flex. So that's the L and B side, and then that's the switch side, and that's the original cable. Again, the one that I swapped out a couple of days ago, thinking that it was bad, but just the actual bad thing was the L and B, and not anything else. So let me get the L and B upside down on those, so that way I don't risk scratching it. So can I get a? I don't feel like loosening that right now. Okay, so it's not gonna fall over. It might. Hopefully it doesn't. So this is wrench tightened. I don't know 
switch. I thought he wrench tightened it a lot more. I don't know what that damage on the side of that thing is. Right there, all that scraping and junk. So here's the underside of the dish. I never got to see this before. So that's where the 129 LMB would slot in. It's the exact same system as here. So like you can just take this LMB off and put it on this side instead, but I need 110. And 110 is on that side. You know what, let me just pull this cable thing up. Yeah, I'd rather just do it with the wrench instead because it's so cold. Also, I think you can swap out this main LMB right here with the 1000 plus one, so like the newer one. I'm not sure if that is actually possible or not. I'm pretty sure it is. Also, 3.0 would be in this video, but he's he's too busy right now. Yeah, I can't touch this thing. It's 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 that cold. It's it's unbelievable. I don't usually want to change these kinds of cables. Like I just want to keep the OG one up here. But again, I thought that one was broken, but I guess it wasn't. Cause it looked like it was pinched, but it didn't go through all the layers. But then this one looks like it has a new crack on it or something. I mean, let's get it off of here. Off of these clips. I wonder if Dish still sells those. Or offers them at least. Because that'd be pretty cool if they still did. These are vintage. Except for that one time where I accidentally broke one of them. Right there. My fingers are basically frozen. I, I can't even unscrew it. It's, it's too cold. I should have picked a warmer day to do this. And yeah, at least it's at least there's daylight and not nighttime where I usually do this type of stuff. See, I can't even get a single cable off. Actually, wait, now I think I might be able to rotate it off right here. Also, it did rain yesterday, in fact. That's why there's water, like, still on that LNB, I guess. Okay, it's coming off, just... Uh, not really easy. Again, I swear I wrench tight in this thing. Like, I literally showed it on video, too. But it doesn't even look like this thing was even wrench tightened so much. Like, this thing just came loose. So I don't know what's up with this wrench tightening coax connectors on LNBs. And it just comes right off with, like, nothing. But then you do it on the switch, the whole switch starts to come out. That's the broken side. I can't, I just can't, I, I can't. My hands are too frozen, I mean fingers are too frozen to be able to, to move the thing out. I should have left that thing inside because now it's gonna take shape and start to harden. Okay, there it goes. It's gonna start to harden, I don't need it to be in a circular one. Oh, look at that, it's already way more stiff. Yep, it's already done. Okay, so now to loosen that clip thing. Put the camera down. Okay, another problem. The thing on the clip, that clip is again too cold. So I'll have to go get a flat top out. Oh, the action button finally came into use. 
it's better than using a screen with gloves on. Okay, so let's loosen this garbage and then it's this cable that has to come off. You're not sure, just clip that thing completely out. All right, time to open up the switch. Which does not have a bag on it, by the way. I didn't get one yet. It's not necessary to have a bag on here, but it just offers extra protection. But it's already rised off in that thing. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Okay, pick it up. I can go back in. Who knows if that's still any good. Alright, let's get the, the OG coax cable back up in the dish. Now that I'm wearing gloves, it's going to be way warmer, obviously. It's also going to be a little bit harder to get a proper grip, though. I'm sorry for all that thing. I'm gonna move that down. It's actually getting annoying. Gotta love coax cables with the swivel thing. See, cause that thing moves up as well. I'm gonna move it back down. Not moving no more. So that means that's good. Okay. See, I don't like to wrench in these connectors, but if I would have had some kind of like rubber thing or something that would keep water out of here, I'd totally put that on instead. But I, I gotta risk damaging this stuff. Cause I mean, just putting water, I mean, who knows where the rain could enter on this thing. So again, I guess it's better to wrench tighten this stuff instead of getting it, risking it to completely get destroyed. I don't have any replacements for this stuff. Only replacement for this thing that most likely will happen at some point is just a new sap, and that's it. It's not moving anymore. Well, see, because this, this bracket thing right here gets in the way, and obviously these are easy to wrench tighten. Again, 2D is 119, 1F is 118.7. Uh, let me try to get that on better. Remember when I thought that that LMB thing in the middle could, oh man, just only scuffed that thing on the floor. Yeah, it's good enough. I'm not stripping that thing. Remember when I thought that main LMB did 110, 119, and 118.7, and that side one I thought was for 129 originally, but it was in the incorrect slot, so it couldn't have been for that. Yeah, see, that's stiff. That's not going anywhere. This is almost as tight as you can get it on the roof, basically. I mean, just not as secure. All right, let me reroute this thing back into these clips. Except I'm gonna leave some empty. I mean, how much room should I leave? Don't need the switch to fall. I don't know how much space I should save on for this thing, or should I just have it go in the same way? I just have it go in the same way. It's always been. I wouldn't be doing this right now if it didn't look like that thing was being, I mean, was cracking or something. It seemed to receive signal fine, but who knows? I'm not trying to mess with this thing again later. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Uh, let me, where's the other clip thing? 
He's right here. Move him back down there. Okay, pick the thing up. Oh my god, bro. I forgot about the switch. Good thing that didn't fall. Wish I could get a tripod. Okay, now that this thing is back on this side, let me get those back underneath there and clip them on. Unless there's any extra. I'm not sure if there is. I'm just trying to get this thing back on. Okay. No sit up. Wrong way. That thing goes on top. There we go. There. Yeah, seems like we're gonna have to move that thing down a little bit more. So let me do that. And then that gets moved up. So right there. Where's the other thing? The other bit. Oh, it fell on the floor somewhere. Underneath the table, probably. And then just put that. Bro, sit up. Okay. There. Alright. Let me put the other end in the switch and let's get the thing up on the pole. Let me put the camera down as well. Alright, that second thing is in there. It's not wrench tightened. I already learned my lesson from the, doing that on the switch. I hate doing this type of stuff on the floor like that. Okay, I got the sat on there. This is ridiculous. It's loose for some reason now. Great, and that thing is still in there. Another thing is loose now. Great, now instead of this side being loose, now that side's loose for some reason. Man, what the heck, bro? Come on. Okay, maybe try putting this grip from the last time into this side. get the thing down in there the rest of the way or is that as far down in the pole as it goes something is still moving what just happened okay now the whole thing is stiff now it's not going anywhere Hopefully. Wait, so it's supposed to be like that? Oh. See how it looks like it doesn't go in all the way. It's still loose. Is it this thing that's causing issues? My god, bro. I, I'm actually confused. What the heck? Okay, so it's clearly these bricks moving. Let me see if I can try and cut up that cable and then fit a piece of coax. Scientific removal. It most likely will not work. Actually, would this actually work? No way. Yeah, no, it's not enough to go through the copper. All right, here's a small piece of the cable. Okay, where does he have to go? Okay, I don't understand this. It's moving up, but then it's getting off of the bricks. 
So then where the heck is this thing supposed to go for it to not fall off? Okay, let me try to move this thing all the way that way. Okay, wonderful. It's never done this before. Okay, so I'm guessing put it on this side then. I guess exactly in this area. Now he doesn't go up. Amazing. Shove that piece of cable in there. Maybe that's enough. Also, is this... And you gotta be kidding me, bro. This is ridiculous. It fell off the mount, bro. And I, I can't take it anymore. Or did it. See, like, it looks like it did, but... Who knows if it did or didn't. You know, let me just move this thing back. So that way, if he does want to fall like that... Then... Most of the force is gonna go back there, then. I mean, the wobbling... Basically just the same. <laughs> Hold on, let me put the camera down and get this thing up there without dissing in the pool. The thing fell off the, the mount. It's not, it's not level no more. I, I'm just so fed up with this. Like, it, it's, it's perfect, but then something has to mess it up. I don't know how, you know, at this point I'm just getting ready to just put the thing on there, set it to zero, so straight, and then just rotate the stupid bricks instead, instead of doing it on the azimuth thing, so maybe that thing could stay straight, and that garbage can put down, yeah, I don't know how to do this nonsense no more, but then, if I want to adjust the azimuth, the bricks have to get adjusted instead of the actual thing, which is stupid. But I'm just getting so sick and tired of having to re-aim this garbage pole. I mean, re-level this garbage pole each single time when that one time I put it in and it was permanently locked in there. Then it just falls out. Alright, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I don't feel like, like anything is gonna... Wow, this screen is unbelievably cold. So I just get the compass up. Aim in the direction of the satellite in space. And then rotate those bricks in that direction. This is gonna this is gonna have to be off camera activity because I, I definitely need two hands for this type of stuff. Especially that stuff is heavy and, and then the compass thing already gives a trouble. Enough trouble, so yeah. Okay, so the way I'm gonna tackle this problem with the dish for it to be flat, I mean straight toward the direction of the actual thing in spaces. So I'm gonna ha actually have the thing pointed at the direction of that thing. But then for the little like fine tuning and type of stuff, we'll be on the dish. It shouldn't cause too much interference if half the weight is on here. As long as it's on the brick, doesn't matter if it's on this direction or that direction, it should still be pushing up against that side of the brick which as you could see it is doing right now so like if you hit if you hit the side of the pole you can see the thing bounces forward and then straight back because the force is going down here so that's why i mean obviously the harder you go the more forward it'll push because that's where m more force is going as well but yeah so again that thing will go towards the direction of this thing and then that's just gonna go fine tune the thing wherever it, wherever the thing actually is. So yeah, so most of the adjustments will be on there, but again, just the small little details will be, actually be still on the set. And then that'll actually actually give me the ability to be able to turn the stupid dish better than I, than it was before. So that's a plus for both sides. And then that has to go home. But yeah, let me get back to work. 
All right, I got a point of the direction needed. So I just have the phone up here with the compass thing pointing towards that direction. That's what I got. So the thing with the wind support garbage is I guess I have to put it on this side. Cause if, man, I wish this thing came with two actually, unless the direct TV one fits the one that I got for the slim line, but it doesn't fit the pole. Maybe, just maybe, I can somehow modify that thing to fit the small pole. But then, what's the point of that if that one even won't even get bolted down either? Unless if I still decide to do the strapping down type of thing strategy with that coax. Which actually, I could strap this thing down directly right here to this thing. And it will just tie around here. Yeah, so it will just tie like like a U-shape around here. And it will just tie straight down into here. And like I can do like one of those impossible but easy. Impossible to pull off but easy to remove. I mean like pull off from like, like, like a tow hook or whatever they call it. Like the thing that they do on cars. The tow rope thing. I don't know what it's called. Like the little loop. It's confusing but... I mean, if it can't pull out a car, then... I mean, if it can pull out a car, then it shouldn't be able to handle the wind perfectly fine. So now... Oh, wait, no. Actually, I'm done. I just have to level this thing. So let me get out of the compass and go into the level app instead. Actually, let me close the level app and reopen it so that way we refresh it. Okay. Let me get this thing tight in there. Let me try it. I actually just realized I won't be able to have it in that direction. I'd have to pull this thing off. Oh my god. Yes. See, like, now it's not coming loose, but at the same time, it's not level. See, this is the type of tightness I need when the actual thing is on. There we go. That actually looks perfectly level. Man, come on. I think that might be the best to it get. That might be the best to guess, except this thing moves around side to side again. Yeah, that's really good. So where's that piece of copper? Okay, there we go. See, and that puts an end to the, the, the stupid movement. Oh, perfect. I think it just fell into a hole and now it's not going anywhere at all. So look. Yeah. That should be good enough. Oh, that one's off. What the heck? Okay. Both tops are good. The front might be a little bit worrying. The front might be a little bit worrying, but I don't know. And just put this thing right there. All right, let's get the thing back up there. Hopefully we don't run into failure. Yeah, so this is exactly what I meant. Except I, I forgot about the skew. I didn't think about that. But it should be, should be okay. So if I move this thing, it should not be falling. Of course it is, but something keeps on getting loose as soon as I put the dish on top. And like really loose actually like massive amounts of loose like this thing like look at this look at all that play that's not good at all that's probably enough to drop your signal to a complete 10 from like around a 60 or 50. 
I don't know what causes this garbage. Where's that piece of coax I tried before? It probably fell in between those cinder blocks, so I just cut myself out a new piece. Get that thing in there. Something around that should be good. piece of this uh, thing oh God, bro, I, I don't I don't understand what causes the issue as soon as I put the thing on here I thought it was from the other side This side's clearly more level. This won't work. This needs to be something else. Unless if I can try to force the the actual stuff inside of it out and just keep the the, the black thing on the outside. Oh, there it is. Eh, whatever. Let me see if I can try to remove the inside of this thing using type of stupid stupid idea yeah it's not gonna work I don't know what I was trying to do with that I wonder what that if that direct TV rock would work that rock that I used to use to level the old mount for this thing until it got the new one which it doesn't need it an anymore wonder how would it it probably actually would work. So let me, let me see. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Let me open this thing up. That's a good, good spot. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's too big, bro. It's too big. What if I get the copper thing? Wait, I saw another copper piece around here somewhere. Where is it? Right here. I don't know where the heck this thing, this piece of copper came out of, but it might be, it might be enough. Actually, let me do the other side. I've been out here for so long. And we haven't even brought the receivers out here. Because the thing isn't even completely done yet. Okay, please don't be loose. Are you, well, I mean, you can see that extremely wobbly LNB arm, but cinder block is better. Oh my god, bro. I just, I'm just so tired of this nonsense. Okay, so when I do, when I get a new ground cable for that thing, I will go ahead and experiment with those and cut out some new straps and tie those straps up to this fan. And then I need another strap. I, I don't know where. I guess most of the, most of the pooling could go onto that side and then maybe I could get that, uh, what is his name? Wind support beam. 
on that side and have that support the ground. That might be a better idea because I'll definitely do like a U shape and tie it up to that fan grill right there. But then for, for this side, I'm not sure again, it could just be a support beam or I'll just try to figure out another way that might be better or fix it somehow, I don't know. All right, let me get the receivers out here. Okay, so I didn't know it was gonna rain because the weather thing said that it wasn't, but I guess it started to drizzle quite a bit, but I guess it stopped. I took out the old ground cable and I have my new one right there. And then I also have the loop or the, the wind support. I know I'm just using regular coaxial cables for non-coaxial cable reasons, like grounding cables and the wind beam and this is what my glove looks like so i i at least have one finger available for the phone to i mean to be able to use the phone but i pulled out the old cable let me go show you i have the i have the old piece of junk tied up right here you can see the broken end right there and the end that went into the house meter grounding location thing and then i have my axis right there you can see and I still have a lot more right there. It's still actually big, by the way. So for the grounding cable, I still have to cut it open from both sides and then uh, run one end from the house grounding pole to, to my normal grounding location right here. I think this bolt is for the L and B arm, so maybe if I tighten those up, but I mean... Yeah, they already feel tight. Yeah, they're tight. The only one that's loosened is this one, obviously, because that's the ground screw. But once the cable is in there, then it's tight. And this is, it's not aimed properly yet, or maybe it is, I don't know. I don't have it aimed properly though, most likely. So I'm gonna have to move this tree thing back in that corner so it's not in its way. And I'm going to try to figure out what I can do with that thing real quick. I'm going to have it go around this area right here. So like right underneath the back assembly. And then it will attach somewhere over there. I don't know if that's enough. I, that should be more than enough. But if not, then I'll get a... I'll just go get some more coax and cut, cut more up. And then just throw that out. But yeah. I don't know how to tie up this mess because this is this is just a mess of cables because you, you see the, t the thing right here this is gonna make what this is gonna have a rat chew through this stuff at some point and then the last thing i need is for something ashore because those have power going through them obviously for the sap so i don't need rats chewing through this stuff because of how messy it is because i mean like, I mean, just look at this. I don't know. I have to remove each one one by one and just tighten it up to the fan or the 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 actual thing. Actually, I don't know if this thing over here is still tight. Yes, it is. Good. Okay, well, I replaced. But yeah, let me get back to the um, the wind thing. Okay, yeah, I'm sitting there trying to tie the thing up, but it looks like it's, it, it, it went, so. I'll just, just put that under there. So what I'm trying to do is just tie it on, up underneath the, the fan like that, and then just tie like a, a huge knot on the other end. And you can see I have it going through the, the pole over there. Right there. And then, I don't know, maybe if the rain stops real quick, I might be able to, to go back. I don't think it's gonna stop. The whole globe cast thing is already half wet. Actually, no, you can look at the dish thing too. I just have to make like a permanent mark of where the sat is so that way I don't have to keep on guessing where it is. 
think it's somewhere around there because before I used to guess and I actually guessed what the right on one time and got about 50 to 60. Wait, no, that's not that's not where the set is. It's like somewhere around there. I don't know. I don't have anything plugged in to check yet. It looks like the rain stopped, so let me put my stuff back down. Put these gloves away. And let me go back to uh, working on that real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm wait for now. So I got that side almost complete. I just don't need to tie up the knot. But for this side, I might see if I can try and get something that will permanently stay over here in this area for like the whole winter. And then tie it up to that. But if not, then I might be able to get some kind of cable that same way and then have it pull on this side and then tie it up to this grill right here. If it'll reach, if it won't reach, then maybe try to put it up there. And if not, then I'll go back to my idea thing with that. And then just have that go straight down in the center. It doesn't seem like this is gonna be stopping no more. So this is gonna be the last part of the video. So that will be pulling on this side and then there's gonna be another one pulling up on that other side. So both sides will be pulling on each other. And then this beam will just stay straight in the middle like that. Let me move this tree thing. I kept on, keep on forgetting. There. And let me just put this piece of wood right here. lean it up against this support beam I know it looks ugly but I mean it's better to have it ugly than have the thing fall since I'm not gonna put grounding on just yet I'll just leave it right there temporarily and after it's done raining I'll I'll come back out here all right yeah let me go power up that hopper so I can get this thing peaked real quick so that way I don't have to wait until this rain is over Alright, so I just booted up the hopper, as you can see it's there on the table. I retested the installation and now nothing is found. But it did find the switch, which means... But no LNBs. Uh, wait a second, that might actually mean because it's not aimed, I just realized. So I don't have to immediately blame it. Yeah, that might be. See, I hate this thing. Oh wait, nope. It actually gave me a drop down menu. Transponder 18. Now I think I have it peaked in about the area. Uh, okay, now see, now it doesn't. Now it does this stupid, weird nonsense. Alright, we're back in the menu after exiting and re entering. Okay, seems like it's going automatically to transpod rate 18 for some reason, not 14 like it did before. Let me switch it to 14. Yeah, see this is where I need to bring the bring the stuff back outside. As you can see all my nonsense on the floor. Uh, what about 110? How about 118? Alright, yeah. So it's doing the same thing as before. Now, I don't I don't know if the LNB thing is fixed or not. But I'll, I have to get like a proper signal finder. Like one of those that go on the coax or... Or just get... What's it called? Uh, a compass, a compass, whatever, what, whatever it's called, that I can just put on the sat and then actually properly aim the thing. But yeah, that's enough for this video. I'll, I'll do the rest of the aiming garbage in the next video or off camera.
because at this point it's getting repeated with this aiming and all that type of stuff so yeah all right so i got signal but as you can see it's on the second port which is the 110 lmb and if we go to details you can see more so port 2 is the 110 lmb or what should be the 110 lmb but you can see it is again 119 and the other two lmbs are not recognized so yeah so the dish is level and well it's not peaked on 119 but now i'm gonna have to go out there and uh, do all that type of stuff so i can try and get the other uh yeah like see there like there's a 63 on transponder one um but yeah so next episode i'm gonna try actually no I'll, I'll just do it off camera but if it's anything like important then i'll record it and i'll put it into another part but yeah for the third time now thanks for watching see you guys later and goodbye this is the final part goodbye